Hi, my name is Dr. Haider Jan, and I'll be bringing you this commentary for Maternity Training International on how to perform a safe forceps instrumental delivery. I'm first going to go through the requirements of a safe forceps delivery. The first thing to do is to check the forceps to make sure they're a matching pair, ensure they lock. Examine the patient, ensure the abdomen is one-fifth pample or less, ensure that the mother is fully dilated, the membranes are ruptured, the vertex is the presenting part, and please know the position. This is very important. Ensure the mother is consented, there's good analgesia, the bladder is empty, and the bladder balloon is deflated. Be sure that the person performing the procedure is a trained operator, there are adequate facilities, a good backup plan, and anticipate complications, and ensure there's someone there present who is trained in neonatal resuscitation. These are a pair of long traction forceps. This is the handle. Here we demonstrate the lock and the shank. Here we demonstrate the cephalic curve, which follows the curvature of the fetal head. This is the pelvic curve, which follows the curvature of the maternal pelvis. This is a Keelan's forcep used for rotation. It has no pelvic curve. I'll now demonstrate how to use and how to perform a forceps delivery with a long traction forceps. I firstly hold the left forcep blade with a fingertip touch, a very light grip. And using the right hand, protect the vaginal wall. And using just my thumb, exerting very little pressure and placing the forceps correctly. They'll often hold themselves in place. On the other side, I hold the, the other forceps with my right hand, and using my left hand, guard the vagina again, and again, using the thumb to exert very gentle pressure to ensure that forceps don't go in place. Now ensure the blades lock, but don't lock them. You hold the blade horizontally with the right hand, if you're right-handed. and you pull straight with that hand and push down with the left, generating a diagonal force downwards. This diagram shows the correct hand placement, the direction of pull with white arrows, and the overall direction of force with red arrows. Once the head is crowning, stop pulling horizontally and start pulling upwards. As the head comes forward, you can do an episiotomy at 8 o'clock. We no longer recommend an episiotomy at 45 degrees. Guard the perineum to ensure that there's no extension of the episiotomy and the baby's head is delivered. We remove the forceps as they were applied and deliver the baby. We hope you find this video useful and please check out our other videos. Thank you very much.